Okay, I'm really excited to test this out. This is the Market of Light. You can download this for free on Steam. It's an Unreal Engine 5 tech demo, but is sort of a game, I guess? Let's find out. You can see my stats in the top left here. It's a uh, RX 6800 XT GPU and an i5-9600K CPU. It's looking like we are GPU bottlenecked, which I would expect, and this is at 4K. Now the controls here seem weird, so my WASD moves left, right, and it aims up and down. Space is turbo, so space lets me go forward. Okay, so control goes into like first person view. Okay, but I have to hold it down, not just press it. Okay, we'll just leave it like this then. So I could look over here. <laughs> Wow, I've got to say, it is stunningly realistic. Now, granted, we're barely over 30 frames per second. <laughs> wow. So, collect the white orbs, all right. Man, the controls are crazy here. I really wish I, so I can aim with my mouse, but like, you have to hold down the space bar to move forward. I wish I could just control this more like a normal shooter. But hey, it's, it's a tech demo, not a game, right? Look at this fruit. I feel like I'm, I'm at a real market, guys. Ooh, red lights. Guys, the Unreal Engine 5 is capable of producing red particle effects. Confirmed. Fly anywhere at that? Hmm. Well, the graphics are stunning. I've got to say the performance is not. Like, this is so slow-paced that 30 frames per second feels... okay. <laughs> but... Yeah. So, the engine can produce amazing visuals. Look at this water. Let's take a look. Okay, the reflections seem pretty good. Gotta say, the water looks good, but I'm not, like, feeling like it's mind-blowing in any particular way. So, are there any graphics settings, or is it just max all the time? <laughs> I'm afraid to press escape and just exit the game, apparently. It's making me hungry. Look at those cinnamon rolls. Was that a cinnamon roll, or is that just some kind of rolled bread? It looks real. That's what it looks like. Definitely dropping below 30 frames per second at times. Whoa. Okay, I'm crawling on the ground. I didn't know I could land. That is the best looking bread I have ever seen in a game.
the lighting here? Like, this just looks so realistic. On the blocks and everything. And then with the depth of field. Like, yeah, the performance is, is garbage here, but the, uh... This looks next-gen. So maybe we need next-gen GPUs to handle this. I mean, this is 4K, so obviously at 1440p, I'd be handling it much better. Time mood lighting. Okay, now this fountain's looking more impressive. What do you guys think of that? Wow. The nice uh, lighting. This is what it wanted me to do earlier. I mean, look at the detail on this. Cause like, we're just going straight in close to something that was being viewed far away, right? And there's still so much detail here. I think I'm gonna need to eat some raspberries. I don't want this video to just run on and on and on, but I've got to say that this looks incredible. The performance obviously is just hovering around, sometimes above, sometimes below, 30 frames per second at 4K on a pretty high-end GPU. So hopefully Unreal Engine 5 games will also feature either some kind of resolution scaling um, from the engine. I think they're doing their own temporal anti-aliasing. But also, uh, you know, a lot of games might have FSR, because running this uh, with FSR Ultra Quality would probably still look stunning and um, produce a lot better results. So can I just not pick these up? Apparently I'm not very good at this game. Life's, life's hard being a little, little beetle flying around a market. Well, I hope all of you have an excellent day.